Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpidex Tech. And once again, I want to talk about the mineable application, a Web3 ecosystem that is using GPUs as NFTs that have different attributes, hash rates, performance, efficiency, so on and so forth to help you earn passive income during this crazy market that we're in. I'm going to take you through the steps on my phone. It is available for both Android and Apple iOS. Um, and we're going to create an account and show you how easy it is to get started because they have $10 GPUs that you can purchase. They're available on Uniswap and their price or their coin is listed on CoinGecko so you can monitor the price action of said coin. So obviously first we're going to want to open up our phone or unlock it and then we're going to want to go ahead and go to our Google Play Store or iOS uh, application store to go ahead and grab the mineable app mineable.io is what you search and it will come up mineable at least on android mineable dash earn passive income by blockchain labs limited that's the app go ahead and install that once it's done go ahead and hit open and then we're going to have two options here now we get to see a lot of information about mineable itself and the web3 ecosystem but uh, we're going to want to either log in or create. We can see the number of miners is over 7,000 miners. There's over 363 giga hash of net hash on here. Uh, total mineable mine, MNB is the ticker, is 2.3 million. That's actually pretty impressive. Uh, mineable left to be mined, 1.2 billion. Countdown to next block. Uh, there's a timer and blocks until deflation. So let's go ahead and create a wallet. Now, obviously, you're going to want to use an email that you have you know, access to, right? You don't want to lose this. Don't forget your password. Enter your password in twice and hit continue. Now we're going to get a seed phrase where we need to back up after we verify our email, right? So you're going to want to go to your actual email itself. This is what the email will look like. Please verify your email. You just click here. And then you are verified back to the app and go ahead and say i'm already verified or i already verified via email it's going to validate that and then obviously we're going to want to back up our seed phrase which is provided to us here it's 12 words back that up somewhere do not lose this or you lose access to your funds and your wallet which is an erc20 capable wallet not all coins are available on it but uh additional parameters or features will be added as we move forward then select i understand that if i lose my recovery phrase i will not be able to access my wallet or its contents hit continue and it's asking have you saved it just want to make sure that you're saving your wallet seed phrase and then obviously it wants us to do it in a certain order so we got to select the first and 12 words of our seed phrase which you should have backed up so go ahead and do that now I agree to terms and privacy policy and submit. And now you have your new wallet. Expand your operation by GPUs from mineable or peer-to-peer -peer market, which there are uh, marketplaces for both. The higher the percent of the total net hash rate you have, the more mineable you receive on each mine block, just like normal GPU mining. Hit the next arrow, upgrade your GPUs, which you can. Sustainably uh, decrease power and repair costs by upgrading the efficiency and durability of the attributes right the nft attributes of these virtual gpus you can do that earn more by staking so you can choose to overclock your gpus which i'll show you um or i showed you in a previous video that can actually um you know it will stake a, a percentage of the mineable you actually mine and then getting paid to avoid high transaction fees block rewards are deposited into your spending account you can move mineable to your main wallet at any time with a single click now please note this is on the ERC20 uh, type token, so you're going to have to battle the Ethereum gas fees, which can sometimes get up there if there's a hype session going on with a particular product. But we're going to go ahead and click Next. And here is our main dashboard, but we have no GPUs at the moment. So we're going to buy our first GPU right now. So if we click Buy Your First GPU, you can see the lowest one that we can get for 5 mega hash is 0 0.006. 8 ETH 
and that's going to require us to deposit some funds in our wallet. So we can't do that quite yet, but the main page, bottom left icon that you can see on my screen is the main page or dashboard where we can see our work workers, we can see what's upgradable, what's repairable, and we can manage overclocks as well. Up in the top right is your little notification bell to where you can see any notifications to you. Also, at the bottom, we have the mineable stats section where we can see our mineable rewards and the network's overall uh, status, as well as a shopping cart, which is the mineable marketplace, but then there's also peer-to-peer. -peer. And you can see peer-to-peer, -peer, they're selling their GPUs for mineable token. If you actually have so much of mineable, you can buy additional GPUs. You can see where you might be selling some GPUs under listings, and then you can see your selling history under history. And in the bottom right is a wallet icon that we can see our actual spendable MNB. But there's also the ERC20 wallet. And you can see here, we can also hold MNB or we can hold ETH. Now we need to get ETH on here in order to actually buy the, uh, the first GPU to add to this account. So I'm gonna switch over to the computer and show you how to do that. Before we continue, I just wanna talk about why I'm swapping uh, Ethereum for Monable token when I can just send some Ethereum directly to my ERC20 wallet. Uh, both of them are gonna occur fees, especially when you're swapping, you get a fee there and then you have to send it as another fee. But there's two parts for my reasoning. One is there's currently an airdrop right now where if you hold 500 MNB in your actual spending wallet, or not your spending wallet, but your actual ERC20 wallet where you see the MNB token and the Ethereum token, if you hold 500 in there, you are eligible for a drop where you will receive a GPU on top of what you already have. And to keep up with all the airdrops, just follow them on Twitter or get in their Discord. They're constantly announcing it online. So that way you can see what the steps are to get a free GPU or whatever the, the prize is. The second part is, right now, if I were to buy a GPU on the, the mineable uh, default market and not the peer-to-peer -peer market, it's going to cost us almost 12 bucks after everything is said and done because of fees and everything. So not only do we need to send more than what we're going to spend, but if you actually click on buy your first GPU and then hit uh the button buy again but don't confirm you'll see the price at the bottom and it might be like 0 0.008 0 0.0077 whatever not counting for the gas that you need to send the funds from your main metamask wallet to the mineable wallet so you got to account for that however on the peer-to-peer -peer marketplace we're buying we can buy these gpus for mineable token or with mineable token and right now the mineable price is 0 0.008 cents and if we times that by uh, 679, which is the lowest one, if, uh, if you paid attention to when we skimmed over the peer-to-peer -peer marketplace, the lowest one is 671. We could buy a GPU for $5.55 right now versus the Ethereum price of almost 12, 13, 14 bucks. So you would need to send 15 bucks, almost 15 bucks, maybe just to give yourself a little bit of breather worth of Ethereum to your mineable wallet if you wanted to buy a GPU on the default market. Now, here's the thing. The marketplace doesn't always stay as... Uh, like at the very beginning, it was fluctuating and people were kind of overselling their GPUs or overpricing their GPUs. But the developers are constantly battling to make sure that it's fair market value and that everybody's playing on an equal uh, footing. So bear with them. But there are some ways if you just double check to save some money. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to take you through the process of swapping to, uh, you know, from Ethereum to Mineable Token. And then we'll wrap up uh, with hopefully a purchase of a new GPU on our account as well as having over 500 MMB, so we're eligible for the airdrop. All right, so when you go to google.com and you type in Uniswap, you're gonna get a number of different options. If you click the main website, it's not gonna go straight to the actual marketplace where you can swap tokens. But there is a launch app in the upper right-hand corner that you can hit, and what that's gonna do, that's gonna take you to the actual webpage, app.uniswap.org, and you're going to need to connect your wallet and go to the swap section. Now, I'm going to leave a link in the description, but mineable token is not going to be automatically in here. Not quite yet. So when you go to select token, you're looking for it. You're not going to see it. Um, and you're going to need to import it, which why I'm going to provide you the link in the description, because it's going to warn you. It's got a little warning symbol here. 
uh, about the token. It can verify. It, it can verify, but it can't validate the market activity, the volume. It's a risk asset, so on and so forth. That's what happens with any new token. It's just not. It's not just mineable. But long story short, click the link in the description. It will open up Uniswap, ask you to import, and then you need to connect wallet. Up in the upper right hand corner, you're going to want to hit connect. And you can use MetaMask, Coinbase Wallet, uh, Wallet Connect, whatever you prefer. In this case, I'm going to be using MetaMask and signing in to my account. And now that I'm signed in on my account, I want to make sure we're on the correct network, which is Ethereum ERC20 token. And then we can go ahead and put in whatever we need to put in to get, uh, obviously, accounting for gas and fees, which if you're not sure what the gas is right now, we could always go to etherscan.io uh, to see what the current gas is um, and account for that. So it's not too bad today, $0.62, cents, $0.65. Cents. Um, any additional fees that we might bump into is what we need to be prepared for. So you definitely want to send more than what you expect because otherwise you're going to be st stuck like Chuck and not have enough to buy your GPU. So in this case, I'm probably going to send a little bit more than I wanted to in this one. I'm just going to go ahead and send 0.01 ETH. So that's about 15 bucks, $14.59 at time of filming or around 1700 MNB. And we're going to go ahead and swap it. Now I could swap in the app and let me go ahead and show you this real quick right now we're on the marketplace and if we go to our wallet i technically could if i wanted to move some um erc20 or some mineable token over to my erc20 wallet i could technically swap it into eth and then buy it but i'm just going to go ahead and show you through metamask how to do it now this is my main wallet that i've been playing around with or i've been using a lot of my testing on um, so the amount of GPUs I have in here already exceed what the average beginner might get. It's just something that I acquired over time by obviously participating in mining in this overall ecosystem. There's my daily rewards and you can see I got the same GPU options as you do. So you were going to go ahead and grab the starter GPU, which is only five mega hash. Um, in this particular video later on, I'm probably going to come back for the second one up with 50 mega hash. We're going to go ahead and swap just an FYI gas fees will eat you alive. I still don't like Ethereum because of this. So just heads up. We just went from $15 we're trying to send or $14.59 to $21 total in uh, money spent just to send this or complete this swap, not even counting sending it to our mineable wallet. And the price just dropped, so let's go ahead and grab it now. Once the transaction is done, uh, I want to add MNB to my MetaMask wallet. So we we'll go ahead and hit Add. Add token. Looks like their image is broken. Mineable team need to fix that. It's confirming the transaction, so we can go ahead and close this. And so now we should have our mineable token in our MetaMask wallet. So we can verify that we have our MMB in the wallet. Um, now we need to get it to our address, which every time you create an account mineable, it's gonna give you a ERC20 wallet address. We just click on receive, and then there is our address. Please double check and verify you are sending to the correct address before you send any funds anywhere, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and enter in our address. Feel free to send me some MMB mnb or mineable token or ethereum if you feel like being so kind if not uh you just make sure you're sending to the right address double check triple check before you send so i'm gonna go ahead and fill this in for us about to send and confirm our funds we're gonna go ahead and lock that gas price in hopefully shanghai or upgrades after shanghai will improve gas fees later on uh but we'll just have to see i'm reviewing reviewing the transaction on my hardware wallet. If you are using a hardware wallet like a Ledger, unfortunately, you're going to have to uh, go to your settings for blind, uh, what is it called? Blind signing, uh, which I don't recommend, but if you trust a project, you can enable swaps on the Binance Smart Chain or uh, the Ethereum network. So there we go. Our MNB is on the way. And now... I am just waiting for the funds to show up on my mobile app. 
All right, so find this came in relatively quick because I'm using the market, uh, you know, value of fees. So it moves quicker. If you you could make it slower, but it's gonna take longer to get to you. You can make it faster to get it to your wallet, but it didn't take long at all. Here we are, and we have the funds. So let's go to the marketplace by clicking the shopping cart, and now we're on the peer to peer one. Remember, so six seventy eight. Somebody just posted a five mega hash one for six seventy eight. We can buy that versus the default 0.0068 ETH. Um, you're going to be defaulted to that one, but just choose whichever best uh, suits your needs. So we're going to hit buy and then buy now. Confirm. So we're going to spend 684.78 MMB. That's going to process. You can see GPU successfully purchased. And so if we go home, we now have a new GPU. Actually, it's right here at the top. It says 10 mega hash because I'm overclocking, which means I'm staking uh, 100, I'm on 100% boost, staking 50% of my mined MMB. Uh, it's cooldown is 14 days. When you start, it's about 30. Um, and I could always change it if I wanted to or turn off the boost so I could have all my MMB. Um, and we can see our new GPU right here. And we can even upgrade its efficiency by spending some more MMB or upgrade its durability by also spending some MMB. Uh, the big thing here is now we got a GPU, another one added to our overall list, and we still have our mineable token in our wallet, right? So I still have my $15 because it's spent from my spending wallet. I could always swap it or move it back and forth. Um, I could always move it to, right? So from my ERC20 to my spending wallet, I could do all and boom, now I have all of my funds on my spending wallet. So I could technically go back to the peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. And if you click up here in the top right, there's a couple of th different things, right? We can sort the price by low to high. We can sort it by high to low from hash rate from low to high or hash rate from high to low. So by price or by hash rate, but there's also a filter section. And if we click on that filter section, I might want the hash rate to start at 50 and confirm. And the lowest GPU we can get right now that gives us 50 mega hash, a little bit of RGB goodness on the NFT, uh, would be 9,550 MNB. So it's going to take a while to save up to that amount. Obviously, if you go back to filter and up it to 100 hash rate, the higher you go, the more expensive it gets on MNB. If we go to mineable, you can compare the differences between the 100 hash rate and the uh you know 150 200 250 it goes all the way up to 500 mega hash you can compare that to what people are selling on the peer-to-peer -peer marketplace and then just double check on coin gecko or whatever your favorite you know uniswap or whatever and see which one will save you the best or give you the best bang for your buck but it's really that simple so now i have funds to play with on this wallet not much but enough um as well as a multiple GPUs, I can upgrade a number of them, which I'm probably going to do right now, like this starter GPU. I'm going to upgrade the efficiency, upgrade now. Now, the upgrades don't always work if it fails. It's just the luck, right? It is a luck mechanism. You may not get uh, the availability to upgrade or the upgrade might fail. But here, it looks like our upgrade was a success. So we spent 50 MNB and we just upgraded the efficiency of this GPU uh making it more efficient nice good to go and you can see now it's got a little nice little rgb to it so it's not so plain jane all my cards have rgb except for this one which was an opportunity that i got uh for creating content for the community but don't forget that they have an airdrop going on right now all you need is 500 mnb inside your erc20 wallet not your spending wallet but your erc20 wallet and that's going to do it for today. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I appreciate your time. My, uh, thank you for your patience, by the way, for the long form video. All right? Take care.